What's up everyone? It's Hey John. And I've had some time to do some reflection and some thinking, some pondering about my AMA on Squid Grow. Now I want to share with you guys what I think about Squid Grow as a whole after having an intimate discussion with Dane, the marketer, R the CEO, and of course, Shiptoshi, the CEO. After speaking to people in person, well, when I say in person, this is as in person as it gets through a mic and a camera on YouTube. Now, of course, in person, an actual physical person would be better, but you can tell a lot from somebody when you have a discussion with them. Now, this doesn't always prove to be right, but it gives you a much better sense and a much better gauge of who they are. Now, I do understand that you guys may be a little skeptical, but I'm telling you guys, folks, this is from my perspective because I had a discussion with them and not you. So that's kind of why I am able to reflect it. But if you watch the AMA, you would know that I asked them the uncomfortable questions, the questions where, hmm, maybe you shouldn't ask this question, right? But you know what? As an investor, these are the questions that you may want to know. And you know what? If you do not think to ask them, well, maybe I asked them for you. Now, of course, I didn't ask every single question out there in the world because, well, maybe I didn't think of it at the time because this was a impromptu, unscripted, just a casual conversation. So with that being said, the conversation moves around organically and some topics may just not get covered because, well, the organic conversation did not lead in that direction. So I wanted to start off with this and I want to preface this so you understand what I'm going to be discussing today. So I want to start off and share with you guys my thoughts and opinions as to why I don't think, again, key word and key phrase here, my opinion, folks, why I don't think that Squid Grill is a scam. Number one, they hired Dane, the marketing genius. This guy's in a company called the Blockchain Brothers. I've never heard of them prior to this though, but I have seen Dane before in prior projects like Floki, Veracity. So I've seen his track record. This man here definitely knows how to put a project on the map. Now, of course, during the AMA, Dane did discuss some very interesting and pertaining facts here. He says, you know what, as Dane, I don't want to waste my time with Nilly Willies. I want to go into a project where I know they have bank and where I know they had the means to achieve their dreams. Because as you know, in cryptocurrency, most projects are just, well, that folks, it is just a dream. It is just a thought. It is just a white paper. Now, to manifest these dreams into reality, let's be honest, folks, you need some money. And this is where Shiptoshi comes into play here. Now, this guy here, obviously, he didn't dox himself. Nobody dox himself, except for Dane, because he had a picture of himself on the website and that's fine though i understand why they don't want to do what they want to do the rationales and the reasonings they are very acceptable and it is what it is now i did ask ship a few questions where it was like okay dude you're kind of crossing the line here you're kind of asking the questions that hmm maybe it's better for behind closed doors but you know what this is crypto and things should be out in the open and this is why i like the response so Ship said that, you know what, I don't want to undox myself because of death threats, because of dusting in my wallets, and all that kind of good stuff. And you know what? That is all very true. I myself, as a YouTuber, even though I say I buy this and that, I never disclose my actual wallet address for those exact same reasons as Ship. And the truth is, it is just smart and it is just safe. Now, in Ship's case here, the only reason why I bring this up is because Ship claims that he is the billion dollar Shiba Inu holder. So you know what? Fantastic. And as they say, right? Prove it. So with that being said, when I asked Shib this question, they said they had a discussion about it. Fantastic here, right? Moving one Shib from his actual wallet into another wallet. Fantastic. That's all the proof you need in the world. So Shib's answer changed my perspective as to what Squid Grow really is and what could be. Because what Shib said was that, you know what? We will be doing this or I will be doing this when the time is right, when we have the right audience. 
In other words, folks, he means that when there is a large audience where you have tons of people ready to buy and they're just waiting for that confirmation and you know what? That's awesome. I like that. For me, personally speaking, that was one of my biggest red flags because everyone claims they are this and that, but we need to see the proof. Now, with that being said, again, folks, I want to reiterate, when this happens, and you will not know when it happens because SHIB will do what he wants to do and he will do what's in the project's best interest. And with that being said, I do understand that people are currently doubting it. And you know what? To be honest, as you should. In the cryptocurrency space, there are so many bad actors and you should have your guard up. I'm not telling you to let your guard down. What I'm telling you is, you know what? Let's just wait to see where this unfolds. Now, if you want to fold up and walk away right now, hey, you can do what you want to do. But for me, I like going into a project and I like hodling a project until I see a reason not to. So people always say, hey, John, you're always pivoting this and that. You're saying, oh, one day it's good, one day it's bad. Well, you know what, folks? The markets go up and down and not everything is good and not everything is bad. I just happen to share my perspective on these cases here and they aren't always received well, and that's okay too. I do understand that and I'm not here to please anyone. I'm here to give you guys the real information and my real thoughts and perspectives on said projects. Now, Rdub is a CFO and he seems to be the guy running the show in the background here. So that's kind of great because what I see in Rdub is that he is in a way the implementer, the guy who gets it done. And in a team, you need someone like that to just get things done. And more importantly, to do it proper. And so far, the way things are looking for Squid Grow, it's quite proper. Everything is working like a machine. All the gears are turning and the, all the cogs are moving along together in sync. So this is what you want to see in a team. Now, I do want to cover the charts as well. The Squid Grow chart. What do we see, folks? We see one, two, three, four, five, six red days. Every single wick down is met with more red down. What that means is that we're seeing these wicks and these bodies converge downwards. This means people are selling off. But there is something I want to note here for you guys, though. You can see here, folks, July 28, 2022, 1.38 million, 1.55, 1.26, 1.7, 1.6. And now we're seeing volume sold 1.17, 787, 560, 557, 500, and currently 339 as of this recording. So I want to share this with you folks because on a chart is just a chart. It's great, but you need to understand the volume is what you need to really look at because volume is people putting their money where their mouth is. And that's the one thing that you can manipulate. So what I want to show you guys here is that yes, we had more buyers buying big and then when we're selling off and going low we're seeing the volume for that a lot lower so what this means is that people who bought when it was pumping up well the vast majority of these people in my opinion are still holders because the sell side we aren't seeing the same volume it's about one third to a half difference i would say the volume difference depending on a day you compare it to is either half or a third difference and that is huge this tells you that the vast majority of the people in the project they're still incredibly bullish now what you're seeing here is possibly a few wells letting go slowly and just trickling the price down and selling it every single pop and they're holding the price down now with that being said there are only a finite amount of whales in this project if you go and look for yourself you won't see that there aren't that many large whales. It drops off fairly quickly. So let me show you guys. Okay, folks, you can see the whales here, right? Someone has 21 trillion, 12 trillion, and you go down and down and down. You see the first page here, 38 wallets have more than 1 trillion tokens. But of course, some of these will be contracts and the CEX, so we won't count those, but you can see for yourself though, right? 900 billion. And then 800 billion, go on page two. Look at that. 728, 549. And then it goes down to 350, 300 billion. Page three. Look at that, folks. Now we're looking at 200 billion, 150 billion. So we can see that even though there are some big whales here, 
and they do hold a significant portion because whales are whales, right? They hold a lot, but the amount of people holding aren't that many. So with that being said, this doesn't concern me as much as it probably should. And the fact that they're putting all the money into the LP, well, this tells me that, you know what? SHIB is actually doing what he's saying he's doing because the proof is in the pudding. How are you supposed to bankroll this operation if you aren't taking funding from the contract itself, from a marketing fund, or anything like that? But the naysayers will say, you know what? SHIB is probably doing something shady in the background and he's getting money some other way. Well, I would say prove it because I looked at it and I couldn't find anything, but it doesn't mean it isn't there. It just means that I couldn't find it and it's not obvious. And maybe, just maybe, ship story is true. Now me saying all this is not trying to create fear, uncertainty, or doubt. I'm just giving you an honest opinion of what is actually here. And from what I can see currently, so what I can personally deduce and conclude from my AMA with SHIB and a team is that SHIB is actually doing what he's saying. And with that being said, I couldn't ask for anything more. I couldn't ask for him to do any more or do any less because the fact is, is that in my opinion and from what I can see, he's doing what he's saying and what else do you want from a project? I've been in rug pulls. So for me personally speaking, this is a cream on the top and well, I have no problem whatsoever with the direction of Squid Grow. If anything, I am looking for another dip to purchase some more Squid Grow. I shouldn't be saying this out loud because I do want to get a dip, but you know what, folks? Be vigilant, keep your eyes open, and you know what, folks? You may just get a good deal. The best way for you guys to support this channel is by liking, sharing, and subscribing. And most importantly, have an awesome day, and I'll catch you on the next one.